Hello everyone, Roberto again for Android and Me. Uh, I find myself here at the HTC stand uh, with Tom and he's going to do a quick demo of the new two products that HTC is introducing uh, in their Android line. Um, please. No worries. So we have uh, the HTC Desire and the HTC Legend. The Desire has a 1 GHz processor, the Snapdragon processor, has 512 of ROM, 512 of RAM, um, a 3.7 inch AMOLED display, uh, so it's obviously better on battery life and also I think one of the brightest phones on the market. We've got our new version of HTC Sense on both um, and there's a few new features to each um, that I'll go through with you. Are, are these based on 2.1? 2.1, both based on 2.1. Um, and the Legend has a uh, 600 megahertz Qualcomm processor. So uh, the Legend I would really describe as the, the next hero. It's the hero with every single thing a little bit better, a little bit tidier. Um, it's a lot about design. It's using one piece of machined aluminium um, and then we slot everything else in. So most phones are, uh, are made by doing it layer on layer. Mm -hmm. um, this phone is made by slotting everything into this one piece of aluminium, uh, aluminium case. It's uh, a very different way for us to work. Makes it slightly smaller. It's the same size screen as the HTC Hero, but it's a WVGA. Uh, it's just a hero, European Hero, not the American Hero. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, sorry. Um, HTC Sense is, is very similar on both of them. You'll just see we've got animated, um, animated backgrounds on this one. Many different options, um, and it, you, you can have whatever you like. There's a few different features on here. Um, everything still works the same way. You press and hold on something, move it around, uh, get rid of it. A few different elements to the programs and things, things like desk, desk clock and, and things, so that you can uh, go on there and you can change it to night mode or day mode, and um, actually works on the accelerometer, so you can get different stands for it and things of that nature in the future. Everything will work. Just that little bit more colourful, we're really making a use of the, the higher screen resolution and things. A um, few extra actual whole features. So if I skip across here, you'll see I've got my, my favourites, we've seen that before. But if I actually add a new widget, for a start you'll see that there are, there's no difference between HTC widgets and Android widgets. So you actually just go in there, very simple for the customer, and you see it's HTC and Android when you're in there. We've also got get more widgets from HTC, so you can download any you want from Marketplace or anywhere else, but you can also go in here and we'll constantly update this one, so we're, we're going to keep moving forward with that. But then if I go in here, go back to people, um, go on to my HTC people, a few different options as per usual, but I can uh, tap on there and I can actually, rather than just have all my favourites, I can have any of my, any of my groups on there, so I can search under different, uh, different criteria. Obviously. As for before, I've got Facebook pictures on here, I can go into the contact cards um, and I can search under all of their information uh, and any of their, their Facebook photos. And the data aggregation is happening in the phone, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So, so you're you not relying on cloud or anything no, like that? No, you sign in, we, we, we make phones and we make really clever phones, so we put the technology in there, definitely. Um, so you, you pull in birthday and, and all of that sort of business, your Facebook updates yeah. and your Facebook photos and your Flickr photos and, and things yeah. of that nature, as per before. Yeah. But what we've also done, we've added a whole new widget. So I'll skip over all stories and actually add over here one called Friend Stream. So Friend Stream, because often, and you've got two different options on there, but I prefer the, the bigger option, often you don't want to uh, go on and, and search under a certain friend or even a certain application. You just want to find out what your friends are doing. So this encompasses Twitter and Facebook and Flickr just in a real-time stream so that you, you get your information as it goes. Obviously, I can go into the application itself. I get the same thing here, or I can search under just updates, so tweets and Facebook updates, just photos, regardless of how they've uploaded them, or um, updates with links on them. Uh, I don't think that's exactly working. If I go and go into what's happening, um, unless I change anything, I would be both tweeting and um, doing a Facebook status update. Uh, would you mind if uh, I flip them around uh, the phones to see the other side? And of course not. I'm ca very go curious to. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So you can hold them if you want. Uh, I don't what mind. is the uh, 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 five megapixel camera? Uh, we have a, an LED flash. Um, and similar for this, or five megapixel and then a single LED flash. Yeah. Assuming out of focus, the standard things. So right? Of course, yeah. Wherever you touch on the screen, and it focuses. 3.5 mini jack. Yeah. And Absolutely, and micro USB at the bottom. It's a very nice looking device. Uh, That's, it's really finish. about design. Um, 
Obviously optical mouse. We've still got slight chin on there. Um, obviously there was no chin on the American hero. There was a, quite a pronounced chin on the European one. So we've sort of gone a halfway house. Um, kept our design element. Kept it feeling really nice in the hand. These seem to be uh, HSDPA devices. Absolutely. Uh, are you planning or is there any information about CDMA devices for the US? Uh, at this point? Not that I know about. Not okay. that I know about. But I'm a UK rep so I wouldn't be an expert on that. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, another one we've got on here is, uh, is the news feed, so it's an RSS feed, really simplified. I think you don't need to know what an RSS feed is at this stage. Um, you go in here, you just add whatever you'd like. Obviously, you've also got anything starred, and you can search under anything as well. Okay. Um, so it's really easy. Let's say I go into a, um, into a story. I'll show you on here, actually. Well, that seems to be pretty much the same features that were uh, in Sense before, uh, the, at least this one, right? The ability to customize RSS feeds was there already. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, let's say I go into the internet. Show you something a little bit new that's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. New stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> sorry. That's cool. I'm sorry. Not to be mean. Uh, to be fair, it's interesting. The way you set this up is very easy now. Okay. And it's been so set up with the pre process. Yeah, it's really simple. You don't need to know. It's just called news and you just go on and it says where do you want news from and there's a, a load of websites which will be country, it, country specific. It. It's really simple. The so we've uh, browser looks pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, the resolution is uh, I'm assuming a 40 by 4 or something. 400. Yep, yeah, that's it. Exactly. At WVGA. Um, obviously we've got the double tap or we've got the the pimp zoom. Obviously it uh, auto corrects so we just need to scroll up and down. Um, then if I, um, if I want to copy and paste, you used to just press. Now you get a few different options. Right. So I can, nice. um, I can take that up, do whatever I like. Very, very impressive. Um, then I can upload that. So I'd just be uploading the URL. I can upload that to you know, whatever, whatever I'd like, any other email for accounts sharing. or anything exactly for sharing. Um, but I can also, a few different options, um, I can copy and paste, as you'd imagine, to anywhere. Uh, are you guys offering any uh, sort of uh, uh, broadcast receivers and intent so that developers can uh, tag along to these features? I, again, I'm not the man to ask. I That's do apologize. Uh, we, yeah, yeah. We'll get on to that in a minute. So, um, also, this one in the <laughs> middle here isn't Zoom, because we can Zoom with, uh, with Pink Zoom. All it's doing is uh, Wikipedia, Google Translate, and Google Dictionary. Well, so, whatever it is you searched under, you can find out all about it. So, we can go in there, we can change that to... Uh, very, very nice integration. ...to anything else, you know, and, and you're away, and obviously at Google Dictionary. Okay. Really nice little feature. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, these no look like wonderful devices, so thanks a lot.